Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, we've already been through this once, so maybe it'll be a good thing. We get a, a practice run here. And uh, the only unfortunate thing is everything I brought in for topping, everybody pretty much devoured it <laughs> while I was sat here on the table while we were waiting for two o'clock to come across. So anyway, we, we still have things that we'll show you. Um, today's topic, as you all know, is on add-ins, uh, things like ice cream that you can add to your shaved ice and beans to make it a little more Hawaiian authentic if you're going that route. Also toppers, things that you can put on top of your shaved ice. And, and then additional items, things that you can use in winter and things that you can just sell out of your building uh, or out of your stand that, that can either complement your product or, or do it as an additional product in an off season so it keeps you in business longer. Um, before we get started, I just want to touch on this briefly. For those of you who are brand new, let me show you how to comment. So if you come in on the discussion, you click on this open discussion platform, and I'll check these, but it seems that people don't comment on Twitter or Facebook. It's a little more difficult, and we have to refresh. So this is kind of the easiest way for all of us, and we added this. So you could just hit click join the discussion. You can pick a name here, Sad so rather post as a guest. And then all you have to do is put a name and an email address. Make sure you actually put in a comment here. I call this comment test. Um, Aaron, Aaron Blah, is, and it's Aaron at Blah.com. So I just do that, and boom, there's my test. And you guys can ask me questions like that, and we'll keep an eye on that. So coming back. To me, I am going to uh, hand the computer over to Alex. He's ducking out of the way. And we'll go through some things. So as I was running in for the webinar, I, I was more or less going to just talk about a lot of these items. And, and I decided I'm going to hit Walmart real quick. My point of doing that was you don't necessarily need products from snowy we have a couple items that that help you be able to pass health code like our cream topping otherwise you can get products from anywhere and we have a lot of people request and ask for us to produce those items where we don't really need to there are many many companies out there that are distributors of candy you would be able to receive it from them so with that said i ran by and we'll just do a pan across here and grabbed literally grabbed anything that i thought could be a topping you what could yeah there you go uh, for shaved ice. So I grabbed some cinnamon bears, uh, some dots, some whoppers, some Reese's pieces, and, uh, and then I have some other things that we'll use as add-ins. So right now on toppers, you could do anything you want. And the best part about Walmart is you can go grab the items that you wish, you can test that market. Even just grabbing a bag of like these Kit Kat pieces, you can, you can top a lot of them with just this one bag and try that market out, see if people are interested. You also have the ability, you know, with yogurt shops, you can see all the items that they can add to their yogurt. You can do the same thing with your shaved ice. And there's people that produce that product in that form, so you can do it in a scoop form and, and put like crumpled Kit Kats and, and things like that on top of your shaved ice. So, um, I left out this block on purpose. Um, we haven't. We've we've had quite a few advancements on our block shaver, so I thought I would just uh, show you loading that and, and point out a couple different things. So one one thing that we do lately too is we will on the block rather than mess with the bag, we can we can slide it down and pull the bag off, but sometimes even that's a little difficult. So what we've done lately is is just cut around that block and then it exits that bag really really easy. And so that then lets me 
and it also lets me put it back in the bag when I'm done a lot easier as well. Now I can just pop that in place. And now that's sitting in place. And uh, this is going back a ways, but we used to have some pressure flaps. And many of you might even have that where we used to slam these. And I think I've shown videos since then, but it used to be that we would have to slam that in place in order for that to drop. And it was harder because if there were littler people and, and uh, young girls that were working, it was difficult for them to, to get that in place and, and to get that down. Now, as you can see, it's very, very easy. I can just drop that in place and it's ready. Then I grab this and I tighten the pressure flap manually. And we used to have a circle here when we went to this form and even that had some flex that was going on. And so we ended up going with this whole bar. This makes it very, very strong. And, uh, and I, I always go until it's a little awkward to, to spin on this and then I, I just do like a, a turn with, with the bar on its own. And if, if you look down the side of it, you can see that, that flap now holding that block. And it's holding it all the way against the black, all against the back. And I've got enough pressure that I don't even need to bring this foot down and touch on the top of the block. I can just start shaving now. And of course it won't start kicking out snow until that flap gets down there. And uh, we have a speed control now, which I believe we had before. But I'll just point that out. We used to hide it underneath here so that the owners or the uh, the owners of the business could set it for the speed that they want, and then the employees would have to to shave at that speed. But what we found is every block is is unique, and you kind of need to adjust the speed according to that block. So we put it on the outside, and then we leave it up to you as far as the training, and be like, look, it goes fast enough. You don't need to crank through it and make uh, snow that isn't that isn't a good product take it easy and, and let it come out and let it be a nice snow so with that said I'm going to bring my foot down and get ready so I can sp I can speed that up real fast or I can slow it it could go up higher so they can see it so I'll go up to the load state you guys can see that foot up here and it, when I start this oh I left it on fast so I'm gonna be shaving I'm not getting it. Oh, this foot pedal is not. Okay, so you have that foot, that pedal up here, and I'm probably going to shave somewhere around like that speed. But sometimes I can take a while to get down there. So you can, when you're in a load state and you're in a hurry, you can just hurry and crank, get that down to right where you want it, and then slow it up. So now, start shaving here. can see this beautiful snow that is coming out and uh, <clears throat> so just touching on the shaver again speed that up just over here I can form my top and have shaved ice so you can do that just like a normal one like we've shown before or uh, you can do some add-ons and that's really what today's webinar is about is what you can add on top of it and again going back to that this is nothing that we need to provide you can get this anywhere and then once you decide on a product that you like you can then find a distributor for that product and get it for a much cheaper price so you can make a greater profit um, so usually with when you're doing add-ins you want to go with a larger cup so you have some space to do it um, or actually, I take that back. We're doing toppers right now. So if I did have this, this eight ounce, I can just come through here and I can flavor it. I could put stuff in the middle, and I'll show you that on the next one. If you wanted to to add items in the middle, like a candy bar or or pieces of a candy bar, like that Kit Kat, or you could even put them on top. Um, and obviously, you're not going to want to do this with your hands. This is where you'd start having to use gloved hands. That's one thing we've always loved with shaved ice, or with shaved ice, with our shavers, is you can, you don't have to ever touch the customer's product. When you start doing these things and you're making a design out of it, you obviously are going to need to wear gloves because you're now touching their product. Um, and you can do that with anything. So if we wanted to add 
greases to that. You can just go ahead and add to it and people will pay a markup for that. And these can be very, very cheap, especially when you buy them in bulk. Um, anyway, so that makes a, an awesome product. Now, you can obviously, the ones that I put on there are geared mostly to kids. You can gear things to adults, like I went and got uh, this goji. I'm probably saying that wrong and everybody will make fun of me forever. Right. Oh, that's right. Alex is correcting me, or approving. And uh, anyway, so you could do that, have some products that appeal to adults. One of the greatest things that we use is cream topping. Now, we make a cream topping that the health department will let you pass. It's a non-dairy cream creamer product, and, and therefore you still have to keep it cold, but you don't have to follow the restrictions of dairy where you have to have a commercial fridge to be able to keep it. Now, if you did want to do those things, that was another item of, that I wanted to talk about. If you have not gotten your stand yet, or even if you have, we can make some modifications. But if you're looking at getting into this business and you're debating on, on other products that you're going to do or products that you would like to add to your, shaved, to your shaved ice and it requires different equipment, we can do all of that for you. Sometimes I think we give the impression that it, because it's not standard, because it doesn't come with it immediately, that we can't do it. That is untrue. We've put freezers in where people, all they do is gelato. And, and we've filled our stands with freezers that allow them to be able to do that. And we've done ovens and stuff like that for other products that we'll talk about in a minute. So another item, the, what we basically discussed are toppers, things that you can put on top. Again, you can do anything that you want there. And that's another advantage of us not being a franchise. You can function under the Snowy name. And again, the only agreement you have with us is if you use Snowy's name, we require that you purchase our flavors just to ensure that, that everybody gets a consistent uh, product and a consistent taste from a snowy shaved ice stand. But outside of that, you could sell whatever you would like, as long as it's appropriate. But you can, you, you can sell, well, we'll get into some of the additional products, but any topper right now, we'll kind of focus on that, but no, even any additional products, even if you wanted to sell waters at a concert, go for it. There's nothing restricting you uh, like a franchise would in this scenario. So, um, let, let's talk about some add-ons. And usually, an add or an add-in is a product that that will that instead of topping it, you'll actually put it inside of your shaved ice. Now, I now I had six of these this morning, and we used one for a sample, and somehow we're down to two. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but uh, so this is this is a Reese's peanut butter ice cream cup. And this guy went through here and looked at my receipt. This guy here is a uh, ice cream. So it's three forty-eight for that pack of six. So basically it's 58 cents a piece if I do a whole one, or if I cut them in half, they're 29 cents a piece. And I should be able to charge a dollar more if they want this added to their product. And you could figure out what you want to do. If you feel like a dollar's too much, then you can lessen that a bit. But I'm actually going to break that and use half of that product. So I'm just going to bust it up. I'm not touching it. The health department loves this because it's a prepackaged product. I'm not scooping ice cream. I'm not coming anywhere in contact with this ice cream. And I can then drop half of that into there and then keep that in a freezer and wait for later. So now I've got this at the bottom of my cup and I can go ahead and shave. that up a bit. And so now when I do it, I could I have that Reese's peanut butter ice cream cup at the bottom and I could also do that with and there's no sense in flavoring this right now. But if I if I wanted to, and I'll just kind of split that up. These are also, this is a great value vanilla cup. Now I know you can get these for much more of a bargain if you bought these in bulk. And there's, there's companies that supply these and there's even smaller versions of this. Um, these guys, let me look at my receipt, were 
they were three ninety seven for a pack of twelve, which means they're forty cents a piece. Um, it, it, I think it'd be a little hard to cut these ones in half. You're probably good just to put them in. But like I say, you should be able to even get smaller versions of this to use in your product. And they're very, very easy. You can just peel that top right off and uh, have my ice cream. And I'm just going to squeeze it out of that cup. So we've, we've talked about people doing this quite a bit. And, uh, and there's probably even a better way to do it than Aaron's way. <laughs> Uh, that's and the idea is you don't you don't touch that product and now they've got their ice cream you 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 were able to mark up the price for that and, uh, and then they're able to get that half through their shaved ice and then you can just top it off and I'm gonna do it. And now I've got two items in there. And those are add-ins. And again, you can be creative with this. You can do whatever you would like. I'm making this. And really the whole point of this was I didn't even have to go and, and find a supplier. I just thought, you know, we get a lot of questions, a lot of requests about add-ons, about things that people can, can put on top, can put inside. Um, people that are doing beans, it's very easy to find beans to make that authentic Hawaiian shaved ice. And uh, anyway, getting a bite here that has this snow and, and ice cream. And it's delicious. Ice cream is an awesome thing to have. Now, um, going back to the cream topping, I touched on that. When you are, you still, I, sorry, I might be repeating myself. You still have to keep this cold, but you don't need that fridge. So what a lot of people will do is they'll just use like those champagne chillers um, where they just put it in a bucket with ice and, and that will keep it cold and the health department is okay with that. That's where this product is a beauty. You can still do all that. And, and the health department stays happy. Once you bring in dairy is when everything gets shifted a bit. So you gotta plan out your business. If you're going to use dairy, we can modify your stand and we can put in refrigerators and freezers that can accommodate that. So um, make sure you let us know if that's something that you want to do. Now, so we talked about some add-ins, we talked about toppers, uh, and we wanted to talk about some uh, additional items, meaning if, if I wanted to sell sandwiches, there's lots of delis in your area that would love to expand their market and sell sandwiches and, and things like that through your stand. And they would love another avenue to be able to do those things. And they just prepackage that sandwich. And again, now it's prepackaged, it's wrapped, you're not even touching it. And it's very easy for you to then move that on to a customer. So you can expand your business that way. So those are things that kind of are additional items while you're doing shaved ice. You can do lemonade. You can make a frozen lemonade still using your shaved ice. You can sell waters. I brought that up before. And one thing that has become extremely popular here, and I don't know if it's necessarily that way throughout the United States, is soda. We have stands that are doing soda like crazy, and you usually want to go with a bigger stand. So you'd, if you were buying a stand from us, you would want to go with a 10 by 7 so that we can put a big enough water supply and a big enough waste tank to accommodate a soda station. And anyway, and then you can get your dirty Diet Cokes and, and Dr. Peppers and, and vanilla Diet Coke and stuff like that. And, and you can even use all of our flavors for that. We have a lot of people that will buy our coconut and buy our, our French vanilla and, and lime and different things to be able to modify their soda. And anyway, so that all of those are, are different avenues that you can go. And, uh, and it's a great, great option for you. Now let's talk about winter products a bit. We have people that will do uh, waffles, we'll have people that will do crepes, we have people that do hot chocolate and coffee, and one thing that I've brought up in webinars past have been soups. One thing I've always wanted to do is a bread bowl and a soup, and I've never pulled the trigger on it. I've always had a busy winter and, and never chased it, but I've always wanted to do 
a bread bowl with a soup. It's very, very easy to keep your soup contained and hot. And you can do all of that in that stand and fill up a bread bowl, sell it to a customer, and, and you could have a, a great, great product that way and sustain your business throughout the winter. It's a great option. Now, with all of this said, uh, I would probably say about 80% of the people who, who do shaved ice and, and especially with snowy because that's our experiences, the people that we work with, only do shaved ice. Um, they don't do a lot of toppers. And then there's other people that feel like that's a big deal. And, and it is, and it also depends on your competition, what they're doing and what you feel is drawing, what they're doing to draw people in. Some people love the simplicity of it. Some people love all of the add-ins and how creative they can get with it. I know Estella has always has done gummy worms and, uh, and you could sell that as like a zombie one. It has worms coming out of it, whatever. And, and it's appealing to kids, it's fun, and it's an experience. And one thing that we have talked about also and, and that we got from our forum users was uh, Pop Rocks. And I've always loved that as a topping. It's kind of an active product when it's put on. And while they're eating, it's active then too. Kids love it. It's, it's, a, it's an exciting topper to put on your shaved ice. I actually couldn't find it at Walmart when I ran through, but, but uh, that, that's a great idea. And Snowy didn't do that. And that's my point with this, with this webinar is just, just go see what's out there and see what you would like to add to it and see if it's appealing. Um, and, and test your market. They're all going to, you'll see what they'll pay for and you'll see what they won't. And when they don't do it, well, you can take it home to the fam or bring it to Snowy and everybody else will eat it here. All right, so one thing I wanted to talk about, let me grab an email here. This is uh, an announcement that we were actually going to make at our training, but about 20 minutes before our webinar attempt this morning, Kelly called me up and said, we've, we, we, we've got this in place. And what this is, is many of you have heard of the Michelle Obama, uh, the procedure she's putting in place. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm blanking on a word. But she has made it to where uh, in order to serve children at school, they basically have to fall within a certain compliance. She is developing a supplement where you can add the, the supplement to a five-gallon jug. And so now any flavor that you use from that five-gallon jug now has all of the daily allowance of the vitamins that you're putting into your shaved ice, which now allows you to be able to sell to school children. It's going to be in a powder form, it's flavorless, and it will contain 10% of the daily value of calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. Now, Michelle Obama's program, that's a better word, it, it, it actually wants you to have one of those, 10% of one of those items. We're actually, and, and there was actually also potassium. But in our development, uh, the potassium gave it kind of a salty flavor. It wasn't tasteless. These items are tasteless, and the calcium and the magnesium are, are very good combined products. And uh, anyway, so we're, we are actually adding all three, and uh, which is a very, very good thing. And they're actually highly absorbable, absorbable by the body, and uh, it's, it's very high-quality stuff. We, we didn't pinch on this. There was... There were a lot of avenues that we could have gone with this, and we went with a very, very, very high quality product. And uh, anyway, and, and Kelly's right in the middle of developing that. Along with that, we're actually now releasing a, a, a sugar-free sweet thickener, and all of these things should be available at the time of our training, which is February 5th and 6th. And we're doing everything we can to have those there so that pe people can taste them, experience them. But we actually have a sweet thickener that is going to be uh, made in the form of stevia. So it's totally natural, and you'll be able to use that with our natural flavors and, and everything like that as well. In addition to all of that, we are also now adding boosts, like you would see at, at a smoothie shop, where you go in and you can add boosts to your smoothies, um, and, and those will all have different variants. And Kelly asked me to actually ask you right now what kind of boosts you guys might be interested in having. And, and a lot of those that are already out there, we're going to duplicate. But if there's any that, are, that you specifically like or want, let us know. And you can email, uh, you can actually email Callie directly at C-A-L-L-I-E at snowy, S-N-O-W-I-E dot com. Again, that's C-A-L-L-I-E at snowy.com. 
Um, and those boosts can affect everything from mood, mental, multivitamin, energy, weight loss, and immune support. Um, anyway, so we have uh, lots of, of great things that are coming and lots of additions. And, and we've now opened up again that whole school market and did it in a good way to where it, it is uh, a very, very high value and high quality product. In addition to that too, uh, sugar was also mentioned as part of that. Now your whole drink, a lot of times they'll take the sugar content of the syrup and, 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 and use that as if that was, if it was eight ounces, if I was using an eight ounce cup, that you're using the sugar content of our syrup for a full eight ounce cup. And that is not the case. There's only about two and a half ounces in this cup that, that you are getting the sugar content from. Um, so your, your sugar content falls within those regulations as well. So it's uh, nice that way. Now, I uh, think that's pretty much everything that we wanted to touch on today. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or any questions before we end, I'm going to go check that right now. It looks like we have two new comments. You could use a spoon. An Anthony said I could use a spoon when dishing it out. Um, um, you, you probably could use a spoon. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know what the health department is going to require, whether I could use that or not. My intent was, and with the pucks that we've done in the past, uh, Cali, I have where we've done a, a yogurt puck in, uh, from our natural stand. And I have some video of Cali doing that. And you can go back and check that out. But we've done that in the past as well, but that was a specialized product. I was trying to find something that everybody could get uh, on a whim. And those, we could actually, they were all paper, so it was, mo it was a lot like that Reese's cup and how, how easy that came out. Um, you can basically break it and then shove out half of it. Um, and she would do the same thing. She would cut it in half and then she would, and hers were paper, so they were easily, you could just tear them and then squeeze them out of the paper. Uh, this one, that cup was a little more sturdy, uh, but I do know that there's cups where people will pop them out, where, where they're a little more, uh, I don't know, that plastic can bend more and it can just pop right out. So it, you can go with these cups. It was a little messy how I ended up doing it, but uh, there's some other options. If the health department's cool with you using a spoon, that's great. The one thing that I tried to get away from is the health department, and maybe if you hand them the spoon, maybe that's a good thing. A good thing and that would pass but the health department really dislikes you scooping ice cream so you can't go get a quart of ice cream and scoop it into your product unless you have that freezer and you also have um, uh, well you, you have everything you need to be able to wash that utensil so that all that should be fine but what we've found is the health department gives people a lot of flack when they start scooping ice cream and so that's what we're trying to get away from is, is popping that puck um, let me see here again have a comment about being excited about Stevia. Yeah, we all are. That's That's been in development for a while, and uh, we're all excited about that. Does anybody have any questions? Do you have any boosters that you would like to see in our products? And what, while I let you think about that, again, I'm going to uh, mention our training that we have February 5th and 6th. And it's a two-day event, and we're going to have lots of taste tests going on there. We're actually bringing in a hot chocolate, two different hot chocolate products that we've had people rave about and, uh, and they're great items that you're able to use in an off season. That stevia will be there. We'll also have these vitamins available. Everything is available to try. And then of course you're going to have lots of hands-on experience. We're going to teach you about the business, uh, different ways to manage that. We're bringing in some guest speakers. It's going to be a, a, an incredible event. We're excited about it. Um, so just touch on that. I'll check one more time for questions and if not, we will move on. Oh, check Facebook comments. Thanks, Anthony. I am a member of the Young Entrepreneurs Academy in Pennsylvania and was wondering if I can uh, get maybe a discount or special pay plan for a snowy building. P.S. I'm 13 years old. <laughs> Anthony, you're a stud. We, we have a lot of young kids that get into this business. Um, some of them, a lot of them have their parents' help. Some of them don't. And, uh, and I'm impressed by you. You'll have to contact us directly and see if there's something that we can do. I actually I can't answer that question here or even by myself. We would have to to bring in the, the powers that be, um, but we're happy to talk to you about it. And, uh, and good on you. But 
the, the greatest part of Snowy is creating new opportunities for people, and, and uh, it's cool you're doing that. Good job. And if that's it, thank you, everyone. I appreciate you coming to uh, the webinar today. I hope it was informational. Obviously, it was a very quick one and, uh, and very brief, but a lot of information here. And, and really just emphasizing again, go and get whatever you want and add that to your shaved ice. You don't need these type of items you don't need to get from snowing. You can do anything you want. And if there's a lot of things that, that you see that your competition is doing, do it and do it better. That's what snowy is all about. Do it better than the next guy and, uh, and, and bring that crowd to you. And there's a lot of advantages uh, in doing that. You have shavers that are a lot faster, shavers that can make an incredible snow and, uh, and also ones that are convenient. They could do it from cube if you have a hard time getting block or do not want to make block. They're, it's limitless and, and you can constantly improve. You can bring out a flavor station and make it to where you can serve a customer every three seconds and, and make them to where they're making their own. And, uh, and you can even put it out where people scoop their own items in like with the things that we're talking here. You can make it like a yogurt stand. There's lots of things that you can do. It's, it's limitless. And just wanted to, to touch on that. We get this request a lot about these items and I wanted to talk to you about it. So I think that's it. We'll see you in about two weeks for another webinar. And if we are coming to the training, we'll see you February 5th and 6th. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.